Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another bare bones test. This time it's the SVA 545. Now, I know that this configuration doesn't look bare bones, and it's not, but uh, I decided to go ahead and show the configuration that I'm comparing the bare bones to. And there's a key here. With the Bass B, really, it appears that adding attachments tends to possibly make the gun perform worse, depending on what you want, of course. If you're going free-for-all, having the extra magazine on the Bass B is good. How does that look on the SVA 545? Well, it happens that, natively, the SVA has a 30-round mag, so you don't need to add any extra bullets in free-for-all or any other mode, in my opinion. And because of that, you can add attachments that improve the performance of the SVA. But how much do they improve the performance? Well, let's take a look at these real quick. I started with the War Pig short barrel. That hurts the recoil a little bit, but that's a composite number. But it helps with the sprint speed, tack sprint speed slightly, the ADS speed, which is significant, and the sprint to fire speed, which is also significant. The Shadow Strike suppressor, it only quietens you down. The XRK Edge BW4 hand stop, again, that target the ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed, but you also get a hefty 10% boost to the ADS movement speed at the cost of a little bit of the hip fire and tactical spread, significant for the tactical spread. The Demo 650 Grip helps significantly with recoil control, and that was my target for configuring the SVA 545. And finally, the main V6 stock helps again with recoil control, gives up a little sprint to fire speed, sprint speed, and tactical sprint speed, but those numbers are 5% or less. You're not going to notice them in the least. So how does that compare to a bare bones SVA? Well, the bare bones is very, very close. There are only two significant yellow highlighted differences that make the configuration better in this case. One is the aim down sight speed, a full 31 milliseconds faster for the configuration that I chose, and the second is the ADS movement speed, which is 0.3 meters per second better. In other words, 0.3 bouncing side to side, making yourself hard to hit. So it looks like adding attachments, as long as you keep the mag native at 30 rounds, helps the performance of the SVA rather than hurting it as it did in the Bass B. But let's take the bare bones SVA onto the field of honor and see if it's relevant just as it comes out of the box or if adding attachments is necessary. And away we go with the SVA 545 at factory settings. So far, oh, whoa, 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 obligatory knifer. So far, I've learned something about these bare bones. She's moving a bit fast. Bare bones weapons. And that is, every time you hang an attachment on a weapon, you need to have a specific reason for it, a target. Because you can actually end up hurting the performance and going counter to what you intend. Don't just hang five attachments on a weapon because you have five slots. Because there are costs for every attachment. The most significant, in my opinion, being adding extra rounds, which is something that I do, but I understand the costs because I play a lot of free-for-all. So this is the bare bones SVA 545. You can see the, the recoil isn't bad, and I'm glad that person came back to put his head in my sights. It's got 30 rounds, so any weapon that starts with 30 rounds from this point forward, I'm going to think long and hard about putting 60 or 45 or whatever on it. And in fact, I'm going to think about taking some off if I'm just playing 6v6 multiplayer. It's got a decent reload time, less than three seconds. And the configuration that I showed managed to improve a couple of things. The aim down sight speed, the sprint to fire speed, and the recoil. So this is the 545 without all those. So it's a pretty nimble weapon. That Dr. Doom intended 
on hitting me in the teeth with his weapon, which is not a nice thing. And if you get in somebody's face and pull the trigger, its rate of fire is good enough that it's putting out a lot of bullets. It's SMG-like, or even better than some SMGs. And it's got the range of an assault rifle. This is one of the sleeper best weapons in Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion. Look how nimble it is. Look how nimble that guy was. I had a hard time following him around. And that guy, too. That guy could run fast. And one thing to consider is everybody can run the same speed with the same weapon. So this notion... Oh, she was waiting on me. This notion that somebody's a great player, that therefore they can run faster than everybody else, should raise a little bit of suspicion in your mind. All right, Grandpa's managed to go from above to below here. Whoa. She just shoddied, Grandpa. It's a shoddy thing to do. I'm down by two. But Grandpa's going to continue to persevere here, just like they told the guy in Outlaw Josie Wales to do. And if you haven't seen that movie, it's a requirement. Stop now. Go rent the Outlaw. Oh, Bare Bones Renetti. Go rent the, or uh, look on Amazon for the Outlaw Josie Wales. A lot of life lessons there. What they are, I'm not sure. So Grandpa's back in the lead. This thing is nimble. Just out of the box, it is nimble. Factory settings are great. Just need one more. Oh, one more GAC now, and I buy the farm. My first exposure to the 545 is a good one. And we win. Hoo-ya, hoo-ya, hoo-ya. So we're going to try it again. Uh, I think I played, I enjoyed it so much. I played about five games. I came in second on three of them, first on one. I've actually posted, and I'll leave a link to it, one of the games I came in second. I started out way behind on that one. I was buying the farm. I bought two, three, four, five farms. I had more acreage to bury myself than I would need for a thousand games. Okay, free for all, just kind of stop, get your situational awareness, and then take action. Look at that guy, man, jumping sideways. I had to watch that one again. Beautiful shot on his part. All right, I'm down by nine. So I didn't think I'd even get to second place on this one. Or in the winner's bracket, the top three, which... Second place, we all know, is the first loser. So Grandpa turned it up. He started diving on his face. Running into corners. Turning around, there comes somebody. Crossfire is the worst word in free-for-all. They could just use assist because that's what you're doing, assisting somebody else. Send out the mosquito. Hopefully he'll bite somebody else. I didn't see that guy to my left, but I did see that guy. The guy to my left eventually gacked me. So I'm still down by nine. It's more than halfway through the game. But the weapon's performing well. Can't, can't blame the paintbrushes. The artist can't blame his tools. Oh, triple kill is nice. That guy just came out of the elevator and calmly gacked me. Movement speed is good enough. Great for an AR. Recoil control is very good for the bare bones SVA 545. Now, I'm going to make that configuration that I showed you a permanent class because this weapon absolutely rages. <laughs> the guy shot me, shot me through the smoke. There's two lined up. Yeah, you're not going to turn on Grandpa. Only two behind now, so 
We fought our way back. And there's another double kill, so that gets us even. Gotta love campers. They're there for the harvest. Oh, that guy must have been injured, like Grandpa. Okay, time to get out of that corner. That guy, I think, uh, I think that skin that guy used to sing for the rock group Kiss. He sure dressed up like it. One more gack, and it's our second win with the factory settings, and there she is. So not as satisfying as the first, but still a Snickers win, 30 kills. SVA 545 is great factory settings, and you can make it better with just a few attachments. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.